Anyway, let's go. There's the fourth here back to you today with another video. And in today's video, this will be a video response message <laughs> to the YouTuber who goes by the name The Grease Wizard. And I just want to start off this video by saying that I actually do agree with some of the things that you said about me in the video that you yeah. made about me. Like, I do repeat myself too much. I am very repetitive. And you know what? I completely get and understand that that is very annoying to pretty much all of my subscribers and especially anyone who stumbles across my YouTube channel, either it's gonna on be purpose or an accident or whatever. And you know what? I just want to say when it comes to that, I don't purposely or intentionally try to repeat myself in my videos or try to be repetitive as much as I am. I don't do that on purpose or intentionally in case you and your punk ass motherfucking subscribers That's you. already know. That's you. You know, when it comes to a lot of my videos, I accidentally remake some of the videos that I already have done before. <laughs> And that's not always my fault because some of my subscribers <laughs> will ask me, Hey, can you do a video on this? Can you do a video on that? And say I already did a video on whatever one of my subscribers is asking me to do a video on. And I forget that I already did a video on that. And then I accidentally make another video about a video that I already made years ago or all right um so i'm gonna pause it and quickly just talk about it because you know i've got to be a, a, a true and honest video response um so he says he doesn't in repeat himself intentionally which is it's true you wouldn't intentionally repeat yourself but it is something he knows about and keeps doing in fact he's doing this in this very same video <laughs> anyway <laughs> Let's keep going. Months ago. And you know what? I can't even really remember all the videos that I have made over the past like five fucking years that I have made YouTube videos for. I mean, I have been going at my YouTube channel for the past five damn years, if you know how that feels. And I still oh. <laughs> barely have any success uh, on YouTube at all. Got As a matter of fact, I don't. Out. Whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, I'm barely I don't at 3,000 <laughs> subscribers. I'm getting close, but I'm not even at 3,000 subscribers yet. And even that is not that much at all. I mean, when it comes to you, the Grease Wizard, you only have maybe about 7,000 subscribers at the very most. I saw your channel and obviously I watched the video that you did about me right. because I watch videos that any YouTubers do on me, no matter who they are, whether it's a guy or a girl, but usually it's a guy and I've never had a girl make or do a video on me. Not yet. At least it's always been a guy for the amount of years or amount of time that I have what? been on YouTube for it's always been a guy why does this matter <laughs> has done videos on the YouTube videos on my YouTube channel like whether it's videos about talking about me or like a review of a certain video of mine or something like that it's always been a guy it has yet to be a girl and you know what? I'm sorry and do apologize to all my subscribers and to anyone else who stumbles yep, upon he's my YouTube himself. channel because I have a problem with repeating myself too much. Hey, he's repeating himself about how he repeats a himself. Video about whatever. And I am very repetitive in my videos. And I deeply apologize about that. 
I don't try to be on purpose. I don't intentionally try to I don't try to be on purpose. Okay. Be very repetitive as I am in my YouTube videos on my YouTube channel. And you know, I'll leave him alone for his nose. I don't appreciate <laughs> when shitty. YouTubers do videos about me in a negative light. I really don't appreciate that at all. Even if you motherfucker. Right, I'm gonna say I don't think my video was that negative. I didn't really have anything. Um, I didn't. I don't think I. I don't, actually did. I say anything negative about him in that video. I compared him to Elliot Roger, which he's done before. I think he should try repeating his Taco Bell orders. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Oh, uh, it's not stuck. Oh, no, it's not typing. Whoops. Sorry. Curse Back on with the video. I deserve it. I don't think I do. I think that is completely uncalled for and unfair. And I know that, like, when I was watching the Grease Wizards video that he did on me, I felt like absolute shit. And you know what I find kind of funny and sad, but also interesting in a way? is that when it comes to people like the Grease Wizard, they oh. make videos uh -oh. about me or other people like me, and they paint people like me in an extremely negative light. They talk about me or other people like me in a very negative way. And I'm just by a doing troll. so, oh, they're beating down on a guy who's already down, who's already flat on the ground, broken, damaged, shattered emotionally, and just a guy who's just at the very lowest point of his life and continues to just go downward. Like, none of you pussies know what it's... Wait, wait, so, uh... Well, I... He's just saying how his Dan is looking, he's calling everyone a pussy, but <laughs> before we get to that, um, he has a thing where he wants to um, like be famous, and I don't want to sound like a an e egotistical person, Like I, I don't, I, it might sound weird saying that, but I think I have only increased his subscriber count, which would help kind of in in his goals so surely he should be somewhat appreciative right i don't know <laughs> so not cool grease it's like to be me or people like me he's took the mask off i'm a voice for people who don't have a voice <laughs> i'm a voice for people who are too afraid or too scared don't kick me while i'm down oh. make videos about themselves or their lives, or their situations, or whatever. I'm a voice for those people who don't have one. And I'm proud to be a voice for anyone who doesn't have a voice of their own. Sure, I'm not a girl. And, very you know, sure. Sorry. I'm very appreciative of all the subscribers that I do have. I would love to have more, but I don't. I wish that, that, that I... Was, that was a good time from my previous point, actually. So, um, yeah. Uh, kind of... I just kind of had it in the wrong way. It was good. It was good that I uh, brought it up. I were a famous YouTuber. But I'm not. Not even anywhere close to being a famous YouTuber. And you know what I wish the most? When it comes to the Grease Wizard or any other YouTubers like him, I wish for just once, one damn single time, that some YouTuber, whether it be a guy or a girl, from any part of the world, as long as they speak English, that they would make a video about me, but in a positive light. Paint me in a positive way. 
talk about me in ways that would make me feel better about myself. That would in 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 my I know it's only one instance, but I do say people said he's a seven out of ten, um, and that he shouldn't really be self conscious about his looks. Um, I know it's only one, but that is a positive lie. <laughs> would make me feel good and have a sense of pride even if it's just a little bit you know I wish that a youtuber anywhere in the world as long as they speak English whether it be a guy or a girl would at least just for once make or do a video about me and talk about things that they like about me Things that they agree with me on. Things okay, I, yeah, no, that don't agree with they me, find interesting anything. about me. I do find them interesting, I'll give them that. Things that they think are good about me, like good aspects about me, or good traits that I have, that they may think I have, whether or not I do. I wish there were a YouTuber who would make a video about me showing their love to me, their support to me, their respect to me for a change. Because I have never ever had a single person, a guy or a girl YouTuber, make a video about me in a positive light, in a positive way for a change. For the past five years that I have been on YouTube, I have only had constant non-stop backlash so he's repeating himself again people making fun of me people trolling me people mocking me people ridiculing me people bashing me lashing out against me people hating on me and you know i guess yeah quick pause. yeah it's a really weird thing for him to have to constantly repeat that he he needs them to speak english like, yeah the yeah, it's the poop fart it. guy piss. Because guy. after all, what do I put out for the most part? But negativity. I put out hatred, anger, hostility, bitterness, jealousy, envy in the majority of my YouTube videos. And it's no surprise that I hate most people in the whole world. But especially here in America because I was born and raised in this country. But you know what? Should, should we put it up to 1.25 times speed? I just find it extremely unfair and unjust that not even one single time for the past five years that I have been on YouTube for that a guy or a girl has ever made or done a video about me in a positive light, in a positive way for a change. Because that would certainly be different. That would be something new, something fresh, something original, something that has never been done before. Okay, all right, I'll put it up to one point. <laughs> it's, I can't even re reply. I can't even like say anything because it's just And I would the have same love point. it so much if at least one person, just one, that's Is the all autistic, I for, possibly. would just one time even if it's just a one and done thing, would make and do a video about me about things that they like about me, things that they agree with me on, things that they find interesting or cool. I about can't me. do one point two five times because at one at two times because the last time I did that, everyone whined. I'll put it to one point five and we'll see how everyone feels about it. About me, good <laughs> Zero point traits five about myself times. that they think I have, regardless if I do or not. That's what I wish. That's what I would love. And I'm not asking for someone to make a video about me and just agree with everything I say. And if you think that, well, you're dead wrong because that is not what I'm asking or implying here. I just said, and I'm not going to say it again. I already okay. said the exact specific video about me that I would really love for someone to do on me, whether it be a guy or girl. And you know, what pisses me off and what offends me and just breaks my heart is when it comes to you, the Grease Wizard, from the UK, obviously. 
Oh, he's going to go into British. Disregard and ignore any of the suffering and the oh, hardships okay. that I have had and that I have dealt with in my life. You completely and totally disregard and ignore any of just the bullshit that I have been through since the age of 15 in the year 2012. And I find it disgusting, absolutely oh, sickening no. oh, that no. you give me so much shame for choosing to drop out of high school, even though the reasons why I did are understandable. Regardless if you think so or not, you fucking English punk, you <laughs> little pathetic faggot. Oh no. Oh. You wretched piece of scum. Oh. You and all your faggot, no. bitch, piece of shit subscribers who are nothing but garbage. No. Oh. No, you weren't with me in high school. You didn't go to this. <laughs> it's over Greece, sisters. <laughs> anyway. Same high school you I went to. to drop the you didn't endure <laughs> or go through the same amount and same level of suffering that I did since I was 15 years old in 2012. So I would keep your goddamn mouth shut about shit you don't know about or understand. Seriously. I mean it. Go ahead and keep pissing me off and see what happens. But you know what? I'm a harmless <laughs> well. person. The only people who I've ever been violent towards are my family. And the only violent thing I've ever done in my life is sibling rivalry, which is pretty normal. You can't do you can't do a threat and then go back on it. Just immediately. At least give it a break. Ah. Oh. And pretty much in every household where there are siblings. I would never do any acts of violence against anyone. And you know what? I don't have guns. But most of you will probably not even believe that. Well, I don't. I don't have any guns of any sort or kind. And even if I did, I'm not going to go out and shoot up a school or a mall or a church or whatever the fuck you think I'm going to do. And that brings me to another point said in this video that I want to talk about for you fucking punk-ass faggot morons. You just love to assume the worst of people. You really do. I guess that's all you fucking pricks are good at, is just assuming the absolute worst of people that you don't personally know or anything about or what they've been through. You know, that's just really fucked up of you. So I, I, I just, I have to repeat. I did say, I literally said at the end of the video that he's not a threat because he doesn't leave his house. Which is a bit insulting, but it does show that he's not a threat. Which is his whole point right now. Not the best one to use, but go on, sis. <laughs> Dom. Grease wizard, punk ass fucking English maggot. Oh, no. You and all your other fucking man whore, faggot English man friends, <laughs> and fucking whores that you fuck, and all you fucking man whores in America, you can all eat shit. You know what? You just love to assume the worst of people. And I'm a perfect example of that. I've had years of people saying that I'm gonna shoot up a school, or a church, or a mall, or a store, or whatever. And every single year that goes by, I prove those little pricks wrong. I prove you pussies wrong. You guys are such idiots. Like, seriously. There is no question about it. It is just an all-around fact <clears throat> that you little children are just so full of yourselves. You think you're so right. Assuming the worst of people. Thinking I'm some sort of violent monster. But I'm actually going to go out never and do said something. <laughs> Well, you know nothing about me. Because if you really honestly believe that, you are just such fools. Fools. And you know, you don't deserve to be in this world. You don't, deserve, you don't deserve to even exist. On. Oh. The fact that you just love to put down, ridicule, shame, and beat down on people that are already down shows just how much of a human you all are. You Fuck have no sympathy, Putin. no empathy, <laughs> no compassion, no understanding, no love, no care, no respect. No encouragement at all whatsoever. Instead, you just love to lash out and bash, ridicule, shame, humiliate, degrade, and beat down on people that are already down. And just assume the worst of them. You know, when it comes to us incels, and even just me by myself, I am so persecuted. I mean, literally. I am so persecuted as an incel. And I have been over the years on the internet. With all the people that have just made fun of me, mocked me, trolled me, harassed me, bullied me, ridiculed me, shamed me, beat me down, as if I'm not already down. It's unbelievable. It's unacceptable. 
It's uncalled for and unfair. And you know what's also uncalled for and unfair? You just think some drowning The people caught. who doxed me, not once but twice. But hey, I guess I made it easy for you pricks. You know why? Because I made the mistake when I was 20 years old, when I first started my YouTube channel in the year 2017, when I was just a 20 year old man, I made the grave mistake of admitting my real name. And also not just that, but the city I lived in at the time, the state that I was from, I didn't bring up I made it too any easy that, for people to dox me. And you know why I did that? Because I didn't know any other way to make probably my it's most viewed video does not ever, matter. which is my 20 years old never had a girlfriend video from the year 2017 when I was 20 years old. I admitted my real first name, last name, city I live, and state. So I made it extremely easy for all of the most vile, wretched human beings in the entire world to dox me. And you know, the most sick thing about doxing is that when it comes to people that are doxed, people think those doxed people deserved to be doxed in the first place. Well, they don't. I don't care how bad of a person that they are, or you internet scumbags think they are. So yeah, um, it's literally irrelevant. Um, I didn't, I didn't do any of, I didn't, I didn't dox him. I used his real name, yes, because it's still uploaded in the 20 years old and still a virgin video. Didn't include his last name, just his first name. Um, it's irrelevant. <laughs> Nobody deserves to be doxxed. Nobody. And you know, it's illegal. In case you don't know. Doxing people is illegal. It's against the law. It's a crime. But you know what? <laughs> None of the people who dox people get in any sort of kind of trouble with the law. You know why? Because the law can't track down these morons, these fools, these punks who deserve to have their fucking ass handed to them. <laughs> you know what? Seriously, like... Most of the people on the internet are anonymous because when it comes to most of the people on the internet, they're much smarter and wiser. They're way more intelligent. Thanks, B Fletch. Making accounts on the internet. Four dollars twenty cents. That's what's up. Are anonymous. So it would be very. I'm gonna choose to ignore the super chat comment because you can't tell me what to do. Not even my real dad. Such pathetic, worthless, pitiful, low life, bottom feeders of human beings that exist on this world and have unlimited access to the internet that they never deserved in the first place. I mean, if you're going to be someone who stoops to the lowly level of doxing someone, then honestly- Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, just realized. He literally said that people doxed him and then admitted that he doxed himself. I, I didn't even pick up on it. it just People noticed it and I didn't. Yeah. Good spot in everyone. <laughs> You don't deserve to have the internet or any electronic that you are using to have access to the internet because you're abusing your right to use the internet by doxing someone not cool not a good thing but sadly the police the fbi or whatever they cannot track down these people these literal demons on the internet these people Whoa. are full of demons who just constantly non-stop dox people it's unfair, it's uncalled for, it's illegal, it's wrong, it's against the law, it's a crime, and it's evil. It's evil. I would never do that, not even to my worst enemy, or should I say enemies, because I made so many enemies online. It's pretty hilarious. I made so many enemies online. Except, you know what, that's bound to happen because, I mean, I hate most people after all. And, you know what? <laughs> Knowing that I hate most people in the whole world, obviously I'm bound to make a shit ton of enemies online on the internet. I don't care how much you hate me or how much you want. So he he is upset that I am um, bring people to hate him, and yet he is just saying he hates most people anyway. So it literally doesn't matter even if they did hate him because they would he would still hate them no matter what. So even if my purpose was to make people hate him. Literally irrelevant. <laughs> want me to die? How much you want me to and be just hypocritical. Or whatever? But doxing me is just taking it too far. And you know, obviously, I'm sure when it comes to the Grease Wizard, you probably think that was totally justified in your own dumbass opinion. You are such an absolute retard. You know that? You and people like you are such foul human beings. I mean you literally are. There's no question about it. <laughs> There's no denying that fact, not for a second. And to think that you probably even think I deserved to be doxxed. And you know what? I didn't just get doxxed once. I got doxxed twice. Twice. And not just me, but my parents. 
which honestly pisses me off even more than just me being doxxed because my parents have nothing to do with my YouTube channel at all. They don't deserve to have their information publicly doxxed and posted to the internet. If you're gonna dox me, fine. But if you're gonna dox my parents, then you're asking for trouble. I mean, literally, you're asking for trouble. I can't believe that you would dox my parents when it comes to those of you who did on the just demonic website of kiwifarms.net that I would love <laughs> if that website were taken down, banned, and banished for good from the internet. But even if that were to happen and if that were the case, obviously those people who remember my information would just dox it elsewhere. Because no matter where I live in the world, people will continue to dox me as long as I live on this earth. People will be coming for me, attacking me, harassing me. So, yeah, he just brought up Kiwi Farms. Um, yeah, uh, I did not use anything other than his own videos to research uh, him. Literally unrelated to me. <laughs> None of this is relevant. I don't think he's brought up a relevant point yet. No, this, the first point was relevant. It just wasn't a great one. Uh, nearly halfway done. <laughs> Rassing me, ridiculing me, bashing me, lashing out against me, beating me down when I'm already down. I just don't get it. And you know, when it comes to you, the grease wizard, who are so very full of yourself, I just cannot believe you and people like you give me such a hard time for dropping out of school. All right. Um, thanks, Raul Duke. Truly the son of Eminem laying bars of truth on us. Yep. Because like I said earlier thanks. in this video, you were not there with me. You didn't see what I was going through emotionally. You didn't see the turmoil that was building up inside of me. Not even the students that I went to school with did. You know why? Because I never opened up to any of the students or teachers or principal or whatever in my old high school. I never made it publicly known just how bad I felt on the inside, seeing that every guy in the entire high school had a girlfriend but me. I was the only guy that did not have a girlfriend, wasn't getting laid, wasn't getting my brains fucked out, wasn't <laughs> having a hot ass chick please and pleasure me with all my fetishes, which are also harmless. And you know, I find it sure. just, just awful that you and your subscribers make fun of me because of my fetishes. Let me tell you, my, my fetishes are harmless. There is nothing wrong with my fetishes. And you know, you know, All right, um, he's 25. He's, he's bringing up something with relevancy. Um, <laughs> um, he's, he's bringing up how his, wait, no, he brought up the high school thing again, which I did talk about, but I also talked about a GED. Do you, you don't have to go to school. Do you have to go to school for a GED? Uh, if someone could tell me, that would be cool. I don't know. I'm not American. I don't know how GEDs work. Uh, but now he's going on to his fetishes uh, and how it is, is harmless, which is true. That doesn't mean it's not funny, though. They're two separate concepts. But I find such a double standard that everyone in this world thinks that sucking dick and taking dick up the ass is normal and natural and good and whatever but then when it comes to fetishes like farting burping pooping and peeing it's like oh that's disgusting that's weird that's sickening that's strange that's bizarre that's odd that's not normal that's not natural you know it may not be as overrated and unbelievably popular as oral and anal sex is but if oral and anal sex is going to be labeled normal or considered to be normal or natural then by all means farting burping pooping and peeing should be too I don't care what any of you else say or think because you're wrong if you think or say otherwise. Why can why can you have one that's regarded or considered or labeled to be normal or natural than others to be just rejected and like as an outcast or an outsider or whatever like <sighs> uh literally society. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not the only YouTuber who has fetishes to that. And you know what, when it comes to any YouTubers who have had the same fetishes that I do, or that still do, or whatever, you give those people a hard time as well. You know, I am so glad that I bash, attack, harass, and bully, and ridicule, and shame, what? and lash out against people who suck dick and take dick up the butt. What? <laughs> that shit is overrated. That shit is popular. That shit... So <laughs> He's accusing me of something that I, I suppose I kind of did. I'm, I did make fun of him. But he, what, what was, what, what was the quote? Let me go back. Harass and bully, ridicule and shame, 
and lash out against harass bully ridicule and shame that's what he does i just shamed him ridicule i ridiculed him uh that's the only thing i did I did none of the four against him. He he just does that to other people. But that's fine. I just can't do it. People who suck dick and take dick up the butt. Because that shit is overrated. That shit is popular. Only because it's overrated. That shit is normal. <laughs> well, guess what? I've never been normal. In case you don't already know. And you know, I find it just so heartbreaking and painful. And just crushing that you and people like you, Grease Wizard expect me to have stayed in high school and just have dealt with seeing every guy with a girlfriend knowing very well in my mind that those men were getting their brains fucked out since they were 14 15 year old guys 16 17 18 19 20 and so on and so forth same with those wretched ass girls that went to my high school and you know what? i was attracted to them even though i knew they were whores i was still attracted to them because they were hot <laughs> sexy but i couldn't have any of them you know why because i'm shy of attractive women I'm uncomfortable and uneasy around attractive girls. I don't have the confidence, the balls, the courage, the self-esteem to just walk up to any banging hot girl and just tell her how pretty she is and ask her for her social media account or ask her for her number or whatever or her email or something because I'm shy of attractive women. I'm timid around attractive women. I'm uncomfortable and uneasy around attractive women. That's the way... Every single attractive woman makes me feel, whether she's white, black, Hispanic, Asian, Indian. We did our biff what? Uh, and, um, anyway, um, again, none of this is relevant. Um, who cares that he couldn't speak to girls? I said it was a self-confidence thing. I, I, I partly blamed him for it. Um... Whilst also making a joke out of it with his outgoing uh, nature on Instagram. But I, I don't think I ever made fun of him, really, for it. Him not being able to talk to girls. I said it was a self-confidence issue. Um, I, I, it's not even relevant. It shouldn't matter to you. Uh, Mar uh, Marshall. Marshall Mathers IV. Isaac. If, if you're watching this. Um, why does it matter? It shouldn't matter. Um, you should probably focus more on yourself. Um, rather than getting upset over things that don't necessarily concern you. Um, yeah. In Muslim, whatever. Whatever she is. If she's hot, there is not a slight chance that I'll talk to her. That... I'll ask her out, that I'll ask her for her number or her, her social media account or her email or something like that, because I can't. I'm incapable of doing that. It's impossible for me, a guy who's never had confidence or self-esteem, who's never had the balls or the courage or the motivation or drive to do so. I'm not a Chad and I never have been and I never will be as so? long as I live. Irrelevant. You know, I, just, I just find it terrible that so many of you people on the internet think I'm a fool, that I'm a moron, that I'm a retard, that I'm a stupid idiot for dropping out of high school in the ninth grade, even though I went there in the first place. Why? Because I wanted to be normal. I tried to be. I attempted to be. I wanted to fit in somewhere. I wanted to belong. I wanted to be accepted and welcomed in open arms. I wanted to be a part of society. But when I went to high school, all of my emotions just came pouring out of me and just... They were created in that place, in that hell on earth place. And you know what I also find hilarious and sad? That when it comes to most people, most people fucking hate high school. I mean, I, I, I swear, like, most people fucking hate high school. And high school does not prepare people for the real world, for real life. And you know what? Even when it comes to those people that stayed in high school, that graduated, He's already that exposed them. Diploma or whatever, and made their parents proud, made their grandparents proud, made their aunts and uncles proud, or family in general proud. It's not like those people are living heaven on earth or living on cloud nine or whatever. It doesn't mean that those people are any better than me. You know, I'm glad I dropped out of high school. I don't regret dropping out of high school. And I don't care what any of you 
say or think yourselves because you're not going to change my mind or convince me otherwise. Because I believe... Right, so yeah, he's already brought up this point. Um, I've already responded to the point because he's already said the point. I said... I, I, it didn't even matter about high school. I, I didn't really focus on that. I moved on to the GED, the alternative to a high school diploma, which he hasn't done. He just refuses to and has barely actually um, said anything about. So none of this matters. Um, why does he just protect all these things, project all these things? He clearly thinks into made up attacks that were not said by you or people on the internet. People probably did say it. I didn't. Not like half of the things he said don't, don't apply to me. He's just got himself worked up. Uh, yo, Greece, can we get a little Italy? Um, okay. Oops. Oh, wrong thing. With all okay. my heart and mind, that dropping out of high school was one of the best decisions that I ever made in my life. Me being an incel and all, I was never meant to go to that place. I never belonged there in the first place. I was not accepted there, welcomed in open arms. I didn't fit in. I wasn't comfortable or normal or at ease or laid back or chill or whatever when I was in that hell on earth place. I hated it. I hated it to death. And the students that went there who got to have all the pleasures, all the fun, all the excitement, all the adventure of being a teenager, but me. Sorry. Um, this is not me. If you're watching this Marshall that said this, um, a woman said, I think I'd rather shove a cactus in me before letting this absolute specimen touch me. So, that's what made me laugh, everyone. They all got all of that, except not me. I never had a girlfriend. And even at the age of 25, of this year, in the year 2022, I'm still a virgin. I'm still an incel. I'm still blackpilled. And you know what? When it comes to you, Grease Wizard, you're a blue-pilled fucking cuck. You, honest to God, are Hello, Marshall. Um, when, uh, if, if you'll stay in um, once we finish watching the video, I, I'll try and give you a, a brief overview. Um, I, 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 that will be my detailed response to you. Um, but this is a this is a uh, this will be a vod. You'll be able to watch the whole thing in full later uh, and, and get a clearer response. If if you if you'd be happy to do that, Marshall. Are a blue pilled fucking pussy faggot ass cock. You and all your wretched ass subscribers that can all burn in hell for all I care. Seriously, go straight to hell for all of eternity. For all I give a shit. For all I give a damn. And you know what? None of you are innocent. None of you. Not a single one of you. And you know what? I would never hurt anyone in my life. But I would love to get my hands on people like you. Because you're a bully. Whoa. What there is no place in this world for bullies. Bullies should not be a thing in this world. They should not exist. And you know what I find really just evil about you and your subscribers and people like you? You're the reason why there's school shooters and mass shooters in general. You know why that stuff even exists? Why it happens and pretty much only goes on in America? Um, Marshall, um, can, I, can I ask you... Um, to tell me when I directly insulted you uh, without really using anything that you say. Um, because uh, what well, I did make fun of you in some parts, but I also complimented you in other parts. Um, I tried to make this as... I tried to make it... A, as a balance as possible to an extent um i i'm a comedic channel um that's my purpose so uh if if you if you'll give me an example marshall i'd be happy happy to hear it uh it'd be it'd be nice to know you know why well i'm going to educate you all morons on why that happens here in the country of america because those people get bullied to the brink of no return. They get harassed, whether verbally or physically, to the point they cannot take it anymore. They can't stand it. They can't stand it anymore. They can't handle it anymore. And you know what? I don't condone violence. I condemn any and all kind of violence. 100%. I don't believe in it. 
It never solves anything. But you know what? I don't blame school shooters for doing the things they do. Oh, Jesus. As a matter of fact, I completely understand them. Same with incels oh, who shoot up people oh. or run people down with their car who are sexually active unlike them. I understand them. I relate to them even though I have not done what they do and never will. That doesn't mean I don't understand them. That doesn't mean that I don't relate to them in some ways, except for the acts of violence, of course. That doesn't mean I don't... Uh, Marshall, what about, what about the um, part where I said people have said that you're a 7 out of 10? Uh, which it implies that that, ha that statement has some truth to it. Do you not regard that as a compliment? Um, Marshall? Like, I'm, I'm happy to talk about it, Marshall. But... I don't think, I don't think everything was, um, I don't think everything was perfectly articulated here. I don't care about those people who did those horrible things or love them, because I do. I care about them. I love them with all my heart because I can understand why they did the things they did. I relate to them, not in every way, obviously, but in some ways I do every single way, except the violence. And you know what? I don't blame him for doing. So, I did. I did. I did. Uh, I did do. It wasn't perfectly balanced, of course, because it's a com it's a comedy channel. Um, but you 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 have admitted that I did regard uh, compliment you. Yeah. Doing the things they do, either. I condemn what they did. I really do. I'm against what they did, but I don't blame them. I don't blame them one bit. And you know, when I think of people like you, Grease Wizard, and other YouTubers like you, your subscribers in your comment section that are subscribed to you and other people like you, you're the reason why even some YouTubers become murderers because you push our buttons. You push us to the brink by harassing us constantly, nonstop, day in and day out, 24-7 ridiculing us, shaming us, belittling us, degrading us, beating down on us when we're already down. And we're, when we're just trying to be understood, when we're just trying to have our voices heard or find people who relate to us, which is harmless. We're not doing anything wrong. We're not breaking any laws or rules by pouring out our hearts. There's nothing against the law about that. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh... What I I do think there is um some state some true truth to that uh compliment. You, I I don't know too much about um attractiveness of men, uh despite you your the names you've given me. Um but I believe you are, are probably a attractive man. Um that's just so, d how do you feel about that? So, Marshall, um, I did. I did make a, this kind of a joke. It's not really a joke at your expense. It was. It was just me telling you, just in case you saw the video, which you did. You have to, in the in the nicest way possible, you have to actually go out and talk to the talk to people if you want to. Uh, you know, caught them, as some may say. Um, you w made it on the right lines when you DM'd a woman on Instagram. You took the first move. You just did it in the wrong way. You have to go out and talk to them. That's that's the first step. Um, but you being so negative isn't also the best way to go about it like yeah you you don't need to don't need to take everything so so harsh anyway i'll continue listening to your video marshall it's not a crime it's not evil to try to be understood which is exactly what i'm trying to do and what i have been doing for the past five years since i've been 20 years old in 2017 and you know what, Grease Wizard? I can tell you, and people like you, 
who give people like me a hard time haven't suffered for shit in your life. You never had it difficult. You've never gone through hell and torment emotionally. Not even the slightest bit. If you resort to the lowly level of belittling, degrading, shaming, and beating down on someone who's already down, it just goes to show you and people like you never suffered. You had it so easy. So, Marshall, if um, these pretty women, um, surely only attractive wise, are too proud, therefore they aren't attractive to you, and therefore it doesn't matter. Uh, you have admitted, actually, yeah, you have admitted that in high school, uh, a girl at, did ask you out, um, but you said no. Um, so the the insult you've just used against pretty women, um, I'm sure the girl you rejected could say, well, this, I don't know, handsome man was too proud and too full of themselves, just like slots. Um, does that does that kind of give you insight into what I'm saying? Attractive people are not humble and they never will be. I mean, we, we, we live in a society, man. You were just handed things on a silver platter. You just had things given to you, handed to you hand over fist. I have no love, respect, or care about you or anyone like you. And you know, I don't hate all people in the world, but I certainly do hate most. Especially people in third world, I mean, first world countries. I'm sorry, I didn't mean third world. That was a mistake. I meant first world. I apologize. You know, I actually have way more respect and love and care for people in third world countries than I ever will people in first world countries. You know why? Because people in third world countries actually have it hard, even harder than me. But you That's know, true. what pisses me the fuck off is when people from first world countries try to ignore and disregard the sufferings and the hardships that people in first world countries face. You know, people in first world countries suffer. We just don't suffer in the same exact ways that people from third world countries do. And people from third world countries don't suffer in the same ways that people from first world countries do. Obviously, I'm well aware of the fact that there are people who have it way worse than me. I don't deny that. And as a matter of fact, I never did. My heart goes out to all the people in third world countries. Yes, this is Goldilocks. Who are actually starving, who have no food, no clean water to drink or to bathe in, no clothes, no shoes, no socks, <clears throat> watching their families die, where there's no medicine, where there's no houses, just huts. My heart goes out to those people. I love them with all of my heart, unconditionally, even though it may not seem or look like it. I love them. I admire them. I respect them. I care about them. I really do. So you can believe what you want, but I do. But when it comes to people from third world countries... I, I've, I've, I didn't say anything about people from third world countries. I never said you didn't care about people from third world countries. This is another irrelevant point. They're too full of themselves. They're too prideful. <clears throat> they, they think too highly of themselves. And it's hard to bring any of the morons from first world countries down to a humble level. Because they really haven't suffered that much. Or ever really been through anything that hard. When it comes to people from America, Canada, Australia, the UK, Germany, Europe, wherever. First world country people suck. The only people from first world countries who are actually suffering are us incels. We are the most persecuted, discriminated against, oppressed, underprivileged, deprived group of people in any and all first world countries. And you know what else? There's incels in third world countries too. So there's not just incels in first world countries, but there also is in third world countries. And when I say us incels are the most... Marshall, you, you kind of have to be careful with what you say there. Um, I, I wouldn't quite say incels have it the worst in first world countries. Um, yeah. Um, people people in the chat are just saying it. In, um, Marshall. Most persecuted, discriminated against, oppressed, <clears throat> deprived, underprivileged group of people. I mean incels from all over the world, in first world countries and in third world countries. 
we have it the worst. And we never catch a break. Nobody is ever on our side. Nobody loves us. Nobody cares about us. Nobody respects us. Nobody supports us. Nobody encourages us. Nobody has any sympathy, compassion, understanding, or whatever for any of us. And you know, I'm, I've had it with people like you, Grease Wizard. I've tried to play fair, but you people of the internet don't. You don't play fair. You don't play nice. You have no heart. You're heartless and soulless bastards. And you just constantly keep proving it about yourselves. I can't believe you even have any supporters at all. Oh, wait. Yeah, I actually can. Because the supporters you have are people exactly like you. Blue-pilled cucks. People who haven't suffered for shit. People who haven't been through hell emotionally. So people who don't know what it's like. Marshall. Oh, sorry, my voice died there. Why, why, why would you assume that I haven't suffered... Why why would you think that? How do you expect incels to be positive? <clears throat> Marshall, you make it very clear that your whole mindset is negative. But you don't try to change it. Um even with the uh what was the video? It was the, oh no, it was two videos. It was the two videos talking about your early life experiences. And in that video, you were positive and you were happy and you were smiling. And people clearly enjoyed that video a lot because, you know, you were positive. So you ha it can be positive, but you just choose not to be. And Marshall, that's not what I asked. Why do you believe so? Not, what is your belief? You just had gaming consoles and video games growing up since you were kids. You had jobs as teenagers. You had gaming computers as teenagers. You had so much sex and pleasure as teenagers. You got to experience diversity, got to grow up in big cities, got to get your driver's license in a car when you were teenagers, and just so on and so forth. You don't know what it's like to suffer. You don't know what it's like to live a life of hell emotionally. You don't know what it's like to be tormented emotionally. Because it's impossible for anyone like you to understand what it's like to go through the bullshit that I go through as an incel or any incel out there in the world who's exactly like me. And you know what, Grease Wizard? I'm not talented. I have no skills. I'm a loser, a failure. I wish I wasn't born. I really do. I never wanted to exist in a world like this. Where, when did I dox you, Marshall? I said your first name, which is still public on your YouTube channel. I didn't look that up anywhere else. Um, I didn't go anywhere else. I only watched your videos. And that's, that's still not really a belief. Um... But this this part of the video just kind of proved how negative you are. Um, you say you're talentless and skillless, but you don't really work on anything against it. How well do you draw, Marshall? Can you draw? Do you like drawing? Show us a drawing. I would like to see it. It would be interesting. Where people like you and people like you, where well, where you and people like you is what I meant to say, have it way better than me. Why would I want to be in a world like this? I mean, I just hope to God that you think about your actions. I just hope you think about when you just go after someone like me, as if you're not going to have any sort of karma or repercussions or pushback or whatever. I just hope after this video, after you watch it, hopefully that you think more about what you've done, what you said about me. You know, and the thing is, it's not like in your video that you did about me, you were cursing at me like I am doing to you or your subscribers or threatening me or lashing out against me or whatever. <clears throat> but just, 
just in the way where you calmly and peacefully talk about me in such a degrading, negative, hurtful way is painful to me. It adds to my suffering. It really does. So I really hope you know that. You and your subscribers. And people like you. Because there's people like you all over the UK, Europe, Germany, wherever, and also here in America. There's people just as bad as you here in America, and in Australia, Canada, and etc. First world country people are pieces of shit. But even some people in third world countries are pieces of shit. I mean, honestly, Grease Wizard, how would you like to have someone who talked about you in a very negative, hurtful, degrading way, just defacing you, and just pissing and shitting all over you? And just... You, you just did. Um... Yeah, you, you accused me of doxing, didn't do that. I think you, you've called me gay multiple times, I'm not. Um, you said I've had a privileged life, maybe more so privileged than you. I, I don't know if that's true. Um, you have no reason to state that. Um... You, you, yeah, you've been a bit, bit worse, I reckon, than what, I, what I've what i done. Uh, considering I only watched your videos and used the information that you publicly gave out, which you say is a strong suit because you're an honest man, but you don't like the things you said. I don't use much, much speculation in this video. Uh, I think I do it once when you talk about your dog. Um, that's, that's about it. Just hammering you into the ground and just doing anything and everything to just crush you emotionally. How would you feel? How would you like that? How would you like to be in my shoes for a day? How would you like to be in my situation? You want to trade places? I don't think so. I'm not happy with you or people like you. You know why? Because I've gone through this for the past five years. And you know, I want to end this video message to you, you punk ass English moron, by saying this that I not only had. Oh, yeah. Um, Marshall, what, what's wrong with me being English? Um, yeah, it's a bit. A bit mean. People trolling me for the past five years and people who don't believe that I'm actually serious and that I'm authentic and legit as an incel youtuber that I am they still think I'm some sort of mastermind troll and you know what not only did people dox me twice as if one time wasn't already bad enough but also I had people pretending to be me on snapchat well one guy years ago from Michigan from the same state that I live in that I was raised in who pretended to be me on snapchat used my real first and last name sent out a fake school shooting threat and got the FBI sent to my parents' house when we lived in Greenville in the state of Michigan. Totally uncalled for and unfair. Like I would ever do that to someone else. I would never think of something like that myself. Trying to get someone in trouble? That's fucked. That is seriously fucked up. That is disgusting human behavior. But so many people in America are like that. Same within the UK probably, for all I know. I mean, you people from the UK show me that you're just as shitty as people in America. And you know what? I had the FBI come to my parents' house when I was just 20 years old in 2017. And the FBI agent didn't believe me. I even showed the FBI agent, well, my parents showed him the computer we had. And the guy in his snapshot, uh, Snapchat photo was showing a fake gun that looked real and a hunter's knife. And then in the caption, he put, don't come to school tomorrow, using my real first and last name and using our IP address. And it was a guy from Michigan, same state I'm from. But how is this relevant to me? I I know about it. You told the story before. I didn't think it was something I should put in the video. I didn't encourage it. I didn't laugh at it. Um, I... It sucks, sure. Uh, I didn't. It doesn't really have anything to do with me. And I'm pissed at that motherfucker. And I've never gotten him back. Never. I just hope he got in trouble. I hope his ass got arrested. 
because, you know, the FBI agent had his area code phone number. That was the only thing he had on that guy. And when the FBI agent came, it wasn't just an FBI agent who was off duty. It was a police officer too. And the only one who believed me and defended me, my parents, no, they didn't, neither of them. It was the police officer who had my damn back who was the only one who believed me and supported me when I was trying to defend myself against this FBI agent who was just yelling at me, yelling in my face and making me feel scared as shit and just uncomfortable, uneasy, stressed out. And it just wrecked my whole night knowing that that happened. And I bet that guy is still roaming free. Probably he's not even sorry because so many people on the internet want me to be arrested. And you know what? I never committed any crimes of any sort or kind. And you know, even when it comes to the people who wish I would become arrested because they think I'm a pedophile, well, I'm not because I never liked kids, except when I was a kid myself, that was the only time I liked kids. But when I was 20 years old, you know why I said that I wanted a 14, 15 year old girl? Because the last time in my life that I was ever around or in the presence or in, and in an environment with girls was when I myself was a fucking teenager. I mean, after all, I dropped out of high school in April of 2013 when I was just 16 years old. So the last time I really ever had even a smidgen amount of interaction with girls and was around them and in the present physical presence of them was when I was a teenager. That's why I said I wanted a 14, 15 year old girl. I don't anymore and I haven't for years and I regret obviously making that video, but I didn't expect to have the amount of backlash that I did because I mean, it's not like I would have even ever gotten with a teenage girl. You know why? Because I don't have confidence. I don't have self-esteem. I'm shy. I'm I said this in the video. It doesn't, so relevant again. I'm an incel. What girl in her right mind would want a guy who's a 20 year old virgin or older for that matter? Statistics show and prove that guys starting at the age of 20 and are still virgins, their chances of ever having girlfriends, wives, kids, whatever sex, goes way down. But, of course, you don't forgive me. And I know none of you on the internet forgive me for saying those things. And you never will. That's what the most disgusting thing about you wretched, filthy, vile, pussy-ass faggot kind on the internet. You don't, you don't forgive and you don't forget. I never did anything to a teenage girl, but of course none of you will believe me, including you, Grease Wizard. I never said you did. Idiots. I tell you. I would love to be in a room with you, and I actually would love to do a video about me beating your ass. Oh, no. Just show the world and show YouTube. I'm not playing. You know, I've never even got into school fights when I was in high school, but looking back on the time that I was in high school, I wish to God I got into school fights, but I never did. Not even once. Not even one time. So for the most part, I'm pretty harmless. I'm just all talk, no show. But if I were able to be in a room even for a second with any of you internet people, I would beat your asses in. I swear to God. I would hand you your asses. I would beat you to a pulp. And I want to. I really do. So believe that. Mm. I'm sick of your kind. Sick of you. All of you. But, you know, that's all I wanted to say in today's video. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. I'm out. Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, that that was that was a response, uh, Marshall. Um, I, th I think it was a teensy bit worse than the video I did on you. Uh, considering you made <laughs> you threatened to fight me. Um, not the kindest thing. Uh, what? Wait, I, d I didn't really insult you. <laughs> um, there's a. There seems to be a, a one-way street of of anger uh, between me and you. Um, I suppose it's fair to be a bit annoyed that I made a video. Um, but, uh, at least you could have, you know, been a bit more relevant. So, yeah, you said I was, you said I was, I doxxed you. Didn't, didn't do that. Didn't have anything to do with people that did dox you. Uh, the only things I worked with was your videos. Um. And I didn't really insult you. Uh, sure, I poked fun a little bit, but I did also compliment you. So you could argue whether or not that uh, does balance the scales or not. 
maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But uh, it seems like your your video wasn't wasn't really as balanced as mine. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, again, I didn't have anything to do with with anyone who doxed you, but I mean, you admitted you did it yourself at least the first time, the second time. Uh, sure, I I'd never condoned it. I never brought it up. Uh, I didn't use dox information either. None of this matters. Uh, it's irrelevant. It really is. Um, have you have you got anything to say back, Marshall? Uh, I await, I await your response. If you're still there, um, because, you know, like I said, I think, I think one of us went further than the other. But if you if you could give me one kindness, I know, again, Marshall. Never did I say doxing was good. Never did I say I supported it. I think doxing's pretty bad. But, doesn't matter. It didn't have anything to do with my video. Um, so, hello? Solipsist, Hello? what kind of a person are you? What kind of a person am I? Me? Yes. yes. Just in in broad terms. Broad terms. I'm cynical. I'm. Uh, no, even broader. Sarcastic. Maybe uh, do you, maybe down to sex. I'm a, I'm a lady. Yep. Yeah, so, I got one of those vaginas. So, do do you want to tell Marshall the things he is doing wrong, as a woman? Um, well, I need to I need to learn more. Really, uh, really need to learn more. But the anger, the anger, the the yeah, the beat, wanting to beat everyone was kind of like a definitely a red flag. Um, I don't know his. I don't know how he typically. I, I, it sounds like he doesn't really approach women. Nope. So I don't, I don't know what his approach really would be. So I, I'd like to offer some assistance there, but I just don't know how. <laughs> so, uh, Marshall, uh, how how did I frame you as a shooter? I may have compared you to Elliot Roger, which you have done yourself. So not that's not just me. I never said oh, yeah. you were a shooter, I don't even though. Remember, yeah, I don't even remember you saying that he was anything like a shooter. Um, I came, I, I jumped to those own, like those conclusions on my own. Um, I don't. I'm not saying he's gonna hurt somebody. I don't know, but the the, the things he's saying leads me to like be. I'd be afraid to like meet the guy because of him being so threatening with violence. It's just, it's kind of out of the realm of what I consider normal. So, you said, uh, I never, fra yeah, I didn't, you never said you framed me as a shooter, okay. but how is that um, relevant to my video? I never brought it up. Uh, I never said anything close to it. Um irrelevant again I mean, it sounds like he was he was really upset about a lot of things and i i'm really curious if he was embarrassed 
maybe about um, maybe some of the videos he's made. So y know. yes, you have had multiple people accuse you of being a shooter in the making, but again, I didn't. Yeah, just because. Some sure, I can think it's maybe like, out of taste, in bad taste, but. This is this is the problem with people who have like these weird extremist beliefs. Is like they start thinking, okay, they hate this group of people, and then they start putting all of these people into that group of people. So like we now represent countless people on the internet. Um, who have accused him of being a shooter in the making. So because somebody on the internet bullied him before Greece, and now you're talking about him, you're just like all the other people on the internet. So yeah, Marshall, I didn't do it. I didn't need to bring it up. It wasn't relevant to me. I didn't think it relevant to bring up to you. I honestly, uh, as you say, I honestly don't mind being compared to shooters, but I hate it when mm. people accuse me of, for years of being one, and it adds to my suffering. Okay. Again, okay, I'm gonna go back. I didn't. You asked me what was, I forgot how you phrased it, but as a woman, what was like, what he was doing wrong. Yep. That is what's, that all of that, that my suffering, my fucking suffering, all of that, it's so hard to watch and listen to. Like, everyone suffers. Part of being an adult is recognizing that everyone goes through their own shit, and everybody's carrying a lot of shit with them. It's all different, and it's all suffering. Um, you know, you see people sometimes that are so bubbly and happy all the time, and I always theorize that those people just have their feelings suppressed. They're just really good at putting on a, a, a front. I don't really care, though, what the fuck is going on with them, because I don't fucking know them. But... Focusing on your own suffering and and so much, it's wallowing. It's it's wallowing, and you have to get control of your own mind because you can overcome this shit if you learn how to fucking control your mind. All right, so I'm oh, going to thoughts. going to start wrapping it up here because it's half four in the morning, um, and I I hate it when people just laugh at me or my suffering or try to make fun of my fetishes. Well, I mean, I'm allowed to laugh at people. You can laugh at me. You can laugh at me for being British. I don't care. Um, does not matter. Um, well, Marshall, to be fair, you don't know what anybody here has been through. So for you to project like that, it's just really not fair. Because I'm not, I'm not going to put my personal business out here to a bunch of strangers. I'm sorry that you have, you know. But, yeah, you, you don't know shit. So, Marshall, um, I think you are an entertaining person. Um, I'm glad you make content. Um, not necessarily because you, I, I laugh at you. Uh, I, and I find some of the things you do humorous. Uh, I, I genuinely think you have uh, interesting thoughts. And I do hope you uh, try and better yourself and keep that um, recorded uh, on your channel I think it would be it would be good growth um, it, it would be, it'd be nice to see um, I for one don't hate you as a person um, I, you said, uh, Marshall said, I won't laugh at you because I don't care or mind the fact you're British. I just attack you because I don't have much to go at you about. Oh, so you can just make shit up. Like I, you, I make stuff up about him all the time, and then it just becomes fact because nobody knows. Nobody knows the truth. So, so I mean, Grace is an actual child. So you can make fun of him for being a child. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, I, I did see the comment you made earlier, Marshall, about that you just wanted to find a woman who's into that. But, you know, it's the internet. Um, what you say sticks. Yeah, so I wouldn't want to, like, meet a guy based on, like, what fetishes we're into. Like, that's that would be the basis of, like, a strictly sexual relationship. 
which if you if that's what you want, like that's that's cool, dude. But if you're looking for like an actual girlfriend, I would not start off with your sexual fetishes. So, um, again, Marshall, what you say on the internet sticks. What you say and do on the internet sticks. So, I would uh, continue making content um, and try to better yourself in one way or another. Maybe just become, try and become more positive. Try and see things in a more positive life. Make a couple videos like that. Talk about things you like. See what reception you get. I'm sure people would find it interesting. And with that, uh, I would say good night to everyone. I hope everyone found this interesting. I know it's kind of rushed to the end, considering Marshall's here, but I'm really tired. Um, mm -hmm. So, Marshall, thank you for coming in. I hope you tried to see a different perspective. Uh, this will be, um, this will be clipped in the second channel. Uh, I will cut down the VOD when I wake up. Um, so the Binding of Isaac stuff is removed because it's just not as not as interesting. The game. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, uh, it kind of went into a meltdown uh, after waiting. I've got to say, you really <laughs> inadvertently blue board me there, Marshall. But that's not your fault. So, thanks everybody for coming.